Live from Eric Lee Machine of 1977, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And here's the Dragon Slain Knight that will do a 20 round battle against that mean old dragon, our host of the show, Eric M. Lima. Why, well, thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode. Of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Had a great weekend. It was an awesome weekend. I'll uh, discuss about it. I'll talk a little bit about that on another uh, separate episode of the show. And we are, in, and I am here once again. Got to play some Tic Tac Doe bonus round. That's right. You know the drill. You know the deal. With the first Martindale Monday of August 2024. The 100th edition overall. There's my tally board. We're ready to go. Everybody knows the drill. Everybody knows how to do this. For those of you who have not done this, let's keep it simple. Uh, I'll briefly explain. Nine uh, Behind the nine numbers of various dollar amounts, you can uh, tick and tack. There's a dragon up there. All I got to do is get the tick and tack. Or $1,000 thousand or more, get the tick and the tag. You do, I do that. I win the game. However, dragon. if you pick the number and the dragon shows up behind that number, you lose. Simple as that. So I do it this in a 20-round battle. For those who are new to this, let's do this. Like Brutus, because some of you are new to this. and I ain't, But I ain't new to this. All right? You know what I mean? All right, let's get going and let's shuffle. Round one begins. And let's go with number four to start it off. $300. Very good. Let's try number seven below that. $250. Let's see, I have a $500 card somewhere. Is it in the behind number nine? $400. Ooh, 50 bucks. Any number except the dragon or a tick and tack will do. Number eight. Oh! 50 bucks is all I need, and I picked the wrong number to deal with. And that will be number eight. So that cost me, and it's one nothing to the dragon. The dragon has scored one nothing on me. And we don't know everything. Uh, we don't know everything else. Five and six would have been the numbers that would have picked. I mean, the other three numbers would have been giving me the victory. But instead, I picked number eight, which is lame. Great. Okay, round number two. Let's try it number two. This is not good, folks. This is not good at all. I get in trouble for this one. Uh, two to nothing. Two to nothing. I don't know if you guys can see it. Two to nothing. Two to nothing. Come on. All right. Where is... Uh, we know everything else was good. Tick and tack behind eight or nine. Yeah, thanks for moving, you stupid dragon. All right, let's go. Round three. Round three, let's try three. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Maybe it's the, maybe it's the hangover. And I don't even drink, for goodness sakes. Three, no, not, no. I know how you feel, Sakari. I hate the dragon, too. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I see. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Where was everything else, by the way? Tack and tick behind four and seven there. Let's try round four. Speaking of which, round four. Let's try four. 150. Good. Let's try number five. 250. That's 400 bucks. Let's read down now to number eight. Tack. Let's try number nine. Tick. Oh, yes. Finally on the board. Finally on the board. Finally on the board. Three to one. Sheepish. I avoided number seven because I got a hunch the dragon was behind there. Nope. It was behind number one. Meanwhile, uh, 400 was behind number seven. All right. Let's shuffle it up. Let's go round number five. I'm going to try to make the comeback. Number five, $300. Let's try number eight, 250 Um, Let's try number seven again. Tick. Let's try number nine. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Three to two. Three to two. Three to two. Hey, if the Red Sox can come back from a three games to zero deficit in 2004, and if the Patriots can come back from a 28 to three deficit, I can come back from a three nothing deficit. So far, it's three to two. One through four and six. Where was the dragon? Number one once again. Let's shuffle it up around number seven. Is seven a lucky number? Let's find out. Seven. Three hundred dollars. Let's try number six. Tack. Let's try number nine. All right, four hundred. Let's try number eight. See that dragon? Oh, it was there. I had a feeling it might be. I shouldn't have picked number eight then. So it is four to two after six rounds. 
Let's see if I can try to bounce back from that. Um, where was the tick? Aha, number four. I should have picked four instead. All right, let's go no, round eight. Round eight. Let's try round number eight. Four hundred uh, dollars. Let's go number five and tick. Let's try number nine. Round up that. One fifty. Let's try number four there. Tack and I did it again. All right, seven's been a lucky number for me. And it's four, two, three. Four to three. All right, one, two, three, six, and seven. Which number was number three? Number three. All right, let's shuffle it up around number eight. See if I can tie this baby up. Let's try number eight. Three hundred dollars. And there's number six. Five hundred. Hmm. There's a $250 card up there somewhere. Is it behind number nine? Tick. Okay. Let's try number seven. Four I'll take that. I'll take that now. We'll take the win. We're all four up in this thing. So, one through five, which number was full of jive? Numero uno. Held a mean monster. Meanwhile, Tack was behind number two. Let's shuffle for round number nine. All right. Should I try number nine? I should. $100. Let's try number five in the med center. All right. 400 bucks with that $300 card. Let's try number seven. 150 That means 550 bucks is a $500 card somewhere. Is it behind number eight? Ooh. I did this last time, and the dragon got me. Got to be careful here. I'm thinking four, six. I'm going to try six. Tick. Okay. Nemi four. Come on. Yes. Yes. Five to four after nine rounds. All right. Stayed away from the Sean Waltman row. One, two, three, kid. In rows. You don't, don't get the joke. If, you're, if you don't get the joke, you're not a wrestling fan like I am. All right. Dragon's got to be behind one. Tack behind two. And what is it, the remaining uh, 250 behind three? No, Dragon was behind three. Tack behind one, 250 behind number two. Let's shuffle it up. Round 10. We halfway mark to the 100th edition of uh, Martindale Monday, the first Martindale Monday of the month of August. Seven and three. Seven plus three is ten. All right, let's go. Nine plus one, nine. Plus one is. Oh, yeah! Very good. Round number 10. After 10 rounds, 6 to 4. Now I got the lead. Now I'm making that comeback trail. All right, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8. Who do we not appreciate? It would be number 2. That held the mean monster. All right, let's go shuffle it up around 11. Let's see. Um, let's go 7 and 4. 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay, very good. 9 plus 2, 9. Ooh! Bad idea. Bad idea to pick number 9. I was going to go for number 2. 6 to 5. What was behind number 2 had I picked that first? Oh, I would have gotten the win on that one. Yeah, bad idea to pick number 9 first. 3 and 6 is where Tick and Tack were. Let's shuffle. Okay, we round number 12. Uh... 3 plus 9. 3 plus 9 is 12. Okay. Uh, 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay. 8 plus 4. 8. Don't need it. Don't need it. It is 7 to 5 after 12 rounds. Okay. 1, 2, 4, and 6. What was behind number 4? Ooh, that would have given me a win. Number six, it was the number I stayed away from, and it held the dragon. All right, let's go around 13. 13, we're looking good here. 13. 8 plus 5 is 13, so let's try that. 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay, 7 plus 6 is 13. 7 plus 6 is 13. All right, 9 plus 4. Let's go with 4. Oh, I should have picked 9 first. I should have picked 9 at first. So, 13 was not a lucky number. However, it is. 7 to 6. What was behind number 9? Oh, that would have given me the victory, though. Tick was behind number 3, though. So, 
So nine or three would have given me the victory. So we'll shuffle it up. Go round 14. Dolly Parton connection. Nine to five. Nine to five. All right, let's go to eight plus six. Eight plus six. Ooh, not a good one. Well, it's a soda game, folks, and I don't, not the sun kiss, not the sun kiss crap I've been drinking. Seven up, actually. Hmm. So, <clears throat> those are the only four numbers that separately add up to 14. Where was everything else? Tick and tack, three and seven. So, the dragon managed to uh, tie itself, tie himself up with me. Let's go to round 15. And there are two, uh, also two sets of numbers, I should say, that add up to 15. Eight plus seven, that's right. Eight first, tack, seven. All right, let's go nine plus six, nine plus six. Okay. Number five. Ugh. Dragon's got himself the lead again, folks. I thought number five would have gotten me a tick. Instead, it's eight to seven. What was that tick? One through four. Numeral uno. Numeral uno. All right, let's try it now. Round 16 is a sweet 16. Only one set of numbers add up to 16. Nine plus seven, nine plus seven. Okay, uh, let's try number eight. 500. Mm. This is, I'm straight tripping today, man. I am straight tripping. Nine to seven after 16 rounds. Not so sweet, sweet 16. For the first six numbers, what you got? Tack behind two, tick behind four. <clears throat> Let's shuffle. All right, round 17. One set of numbers, nine plus eight. Nine plus eight is 17. Okay, 400 bucks. Let's try seven. 509. Uh, let's try number six to see if that will give me something good. No, tack, let's write four. If I keep this up, man, I'm sucking up a storm. Okay. 10 to 7 after 17 rounds. I've got to win the last three or my ship is sunk here for today. Let's find out where that tick was. Number 2, Little Deuce. Let's shuffle. Round 18, it's time to throw everything out the window. Four. And I did throw it, throw that, throw my victory out the window. Throw my chances of tying this game out the window. Tying this round 11 to 7. That's that's sad. Sad, sad, sad. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, man. Let's, everything else, tack and tick, one and nine. Opposite ends of the board there. Let's shuffle for round number 19. <sighs> let's try six. Tick. Let's try number four. All right, let's try number nine. 100. Let's try number seven. 400. Let's try number eight. Yes. Finally got to win. Finally got to win 11 to 8. 11 to 8. All right, let's see if I can uh, find where that dragon was. Number 3. All right. 20th and final round. Let's see what happens here. Let's go 5. 300. Let's try number 9. 150. Let's try number 7. I am not very happy with myself right now. This is sad. Sad, sad day, man. Must be the hangover from the Portuguese feast, even though I didn't drink. To me, I think it's a mental, more of a mental hang hangover from that than it is. 12 to 8 was the final score. Yeah, and I don't drink. That's the crazy part. <clears throat> but you can have a mental hangover from something as fun as the feast. I'll talk a little bit more, more about um, the, uh, this past weekend, because I think I, you know, despite that, I had a great time. So, 12-8 to 8 was the final score. The Dragon beat me there, but that's okay. I'll bounce back like always, and hopefully I can do better on the joke as well. Oh, but by the way, before we go, before we totally go, where was everything else? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, who do we appreciate? 1 and 4 held the me, uh, held um, Tick and Tack, respectively. So, that's that'll do it for today. That'll do it. As you know, tonight, Monday Night Raw, the SummerSlam Fallout. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen. Because two of the biggest factions on each brand are are going to go through something, are going are going through something right now. You got the Judgment Day with Finn Balor and Dominic Mysterio betraying Rhea, 
<clears throat> with uh, Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley, there is going to be a hashing out of things. And I wouldn't be surprised, you know. And this is what you, I hate to say this, but Judgment Day, this is what you get for kicking our truth out. Our truth brings everybody together, even just me. He mistaken George Jelly Roll for Post Malone. How the heck you did he manage to do that? <clears throat> but he, but he's funny for doing so. And uh, give me a second here, folks. Usually I make a mess in my room, but I try not to make a mess in my room. All right, there we are. So, uh, so yeah. So it'll be very interesting to see. As you know, it'll be again on Sci Fi tonight, as is NXT Great American Bash Night Two tomorrow. <clears throat> It'll be a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of funsies is going to hap- be happening. So, um, that's all the time there is. And um, hopefully to see you guys on the next episode of the show. So, until that next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E. For Bob Saget Productions and in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.